Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surge Designer. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about urban design and urban planning in SketchUp. So we have some type of site context in here, but we don't create it with the site context in Enscape. We create it with the uh, SketchUp only. So this is one of the projects related to the uh, architectural design by the uh, Surge Designer. Surush Studio and it's work in the uh, some place in Iran as you can see so in this project I'm gonna talk about that how we can present these type of city context with some type of details with the uh, shadow sun rising or the other type of things in here so for this reason you have two ways first way is about the uh, SketchUp environment you can create your animation with the uh, sense you create in this place and finally you present some type of animation about your city but the second way is related to the Enscape render so if I want to use first way I'm gonna click on the for example shot number one called Eagle 7 and I can come to the uh, paint bucket in here and adjust my materials for example I colorize these type of lands about land use in urban design and urban planning and it's related to the uh, land use for example green places is the uh, green spaces the yellow is the uh, houses the green is the green spaces again the red is some type of land uses like the uh, shop and other things the cayenne blue is about the uh, schools the dark green is about the uh, police station and other type of things in here so if I want to create some type of animation very simple and easy I have some type of works to do for example I come to the style option in here open my in model edit and I start with the uh, line setting in here for example I can turn on the uh, profiles or I can turn them off I can turn on the jitter to create this type of graphical city but I don't need it now I can come to the uh, face setting and I can change my material showing for example display shading using all the same it's really useful for the urban design so I'm gonna refresh my style and now I can come and turn on the shadow option from the shadow box so I click on the shadow box in here as you can see we have some type of shadows in here uh, for example for the Eagle 7 I'm gonna press update and Eagle 8 don't have any shadows so I turn on the shadows in here and now I want to adjust my clock about 11 and 11 sorry something like that as you can see now I can reduce the darkness of it about 30 and reduce the light about 70 and now I can update my style so I can delete all of these purge unused scenes in here because I only need two scenes so scene number seven and scene number eight so in this place I can come to the file option export animation and export my animation very simple and easy but for this reason I'm going to click on the window, model info, go to the uh, animation tool and increase my scene transition to the uh, 6 second with the uh, delay about 1 second and now I want to export my animation very simple and easy for example I'm going to call it city and press export before I press export I'm going to click on the uh, option and I can see I have some type of adjustable things in here for example my resolution in the customize aspect ratio in the custom setting and widths and heights in my hands so if I click on the preview frame size I can see some type of 1 to 1 point aspect ratio for my video but I want some type of full HD so I'm gonna turn it to the HD or full HD I'm gonna select HD for example my resolution adjusts automatically now I can preview my size in here and my frame is about 3 and now I want to press ok so I'm gonna press export in here as you can see we have only have two scenes in our screen Eagle 7 and Eagle 8 
so I have way to done this process so our animation has been exported for us and now I can open in this place as you can see in the document and I have my CT in here I can open it so you can see this transition transition with the uh, sunlight and the shadow changes on the screen very simple and easy something about 12 seconds now I can close all of this open the uh, Enscape in here So, when I open the Enscape in SketchUp, actually, some type of stories has been completely changed in here. As you can see, we have colors, we have environment, we have natural sunlight, and we have HDRI. So, I'm gonna click on the uh, visual setting in this place. For some type of graphical presentations, you can't use these type of colors because it's for the rookie guys and now I'm going to change it to the white mode and it's much professional than the past so I can press F on my keyboard and set the uh, Eagle 7 for example or I can completely change my view and style for example I want to create some type of animation from this view but first of all I need some type of safe frame so I turn on my safe frame in here I'm gonna click on the visual setting output actually it's on the custom mode 9020 680 and it's for the uh, cinema resolution you can adjust it a little bit something like that for example or you can completely change it to the full HD mode as you can see so in this place I'm gonna adjust it a little bit something like that and click on the main option in here so uh, actually you can see that we are on the white mode if I increase the outline I have some type of graphic color cartoon animation in here so I want to reduce it to the 16 the exposure is good a little bit I need some type of field of view about 58 something like that and rendering quality high is good for us and now I'm gonna click on the uh, V on my keyboard and video editor has been opened for us so the first thing I'm gonna click on the extra icon in here and another click for it so our first thing has been created for us time of the day for example morning something like that it's really good for the start point and now I'm gonna press update on my keyboard so another keyframe is related to the camera changes so I'm gonna show grid lines in here and move in my environment as you can see some place like this alright something like that and now I want to click on the extra icon again so as you can see we have 0 second in here and 5 minute point 36 second in here so it means that if you want to change your position from the first scene to the second scene you must spend 5 minutes so it's really high for our animation and we don't need these type of things so I'm gonna make this 0 and only I want to adjust my second option about 10 for example and I press update in here the time of the day is the 7 o'clock so I'm gonna press update again if I click on the preview you can see these changes very simple and easy in the urban design and urban planning so 
it's really useful because you play with the shadows and it's really make your renders realistic so I'm gonna come to the uh, second keyframe and change my position like that like the uh, satellite view and now I'm gonna click on the uh, extra icon in here again uh, remember this point you must double click on the extra icon to make your keyframes adjustable so I'm gonna click on the timestamp in here for example it's about 16 the time of the day is the 8 and I'm gonna press update update so I came back to my keyframe number one and I press preview option in here as you can see we have these type of previews very simple and easy so I'm gonna click on the stop option I'm gonna click on my last keyframe so I'm gonna orbit on my city so I'm gonna hold right click on my mouse and make this type of orbit for myself and now I'm gonna double click on the extra icon in here this time I'm gonna change the uh, timestamp about something like 24 and time of the day is about 9 or 10 so now I'm gonna press update I think these four keyframes is good for the last time I'm gonna check out my city project as you can see very simple very easy Enscape is one of the best rendering engines for the uh, SketchUp you can use in different type of performance and hardware accelerator systems but you can create these type of animations very easy so for the last thing you can click on the export option in here you have resolution option it's good comparison quality email is the lowest quality web is a medium quality blu-ray is the high quality and maximum is the best so loseless is not very famous so don't use it at all I'm gonna click on the blu-ray and you can check your FPS for example 25, 30, 60 and 120 actually if you click 120 your animation will take lots of time to create and render so I'm gonna use Siri for example and I'm gonna press export in here and I'm gonna export it in the uh, downloads and press save as you can see it depends on your hardware accelerator and system performances but this type of renders usually take lower than 10 minutes and as you can see this animation rendered for us very simple and easy so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for your watching till the end like and subscribe please don't forget it please support us and goodbye